Across the U.S., teachers protested and won. Now some accuse law that's what union leaders are worried about as lawmakers consider new bills in states where teachers protested. From West Virginia to Arizona, thousands of teachers swarmed state capitals, demanding more school funding or better raises. In some cases, in one state, teachers could lose their certifications permanently for walking out. In another, and these. But Arizona State GOP Republic. Kelly Townsend, Retaliation Hey race a look at some of the new bills across the country and how they could affect teachers in the future. West Virginia would make it harder to strike. What teachers did this is where it all started. West Virginia te within, teachers demanded better pay and improvements too. After nine days of the strike, Republican government. Jim Justice agreed. What's happening now this week, West Virginia Senators passed, also known as the Omnibus Education Bill. Critics say combines raises with things teachers don't want. For example, withholding teachers pay each day they strike if the strike causes a school closure. The bill also forbids the putting public dollars toward charter or private school education. If the bill passes, Weingarten slammed the bill as retaliatory, saying it links teachers' raises with efforts to make it more difficult to strike. She said the bill does, but Republican Patricia Rucker, chair of the state Senate's Education Committee, said teachers will get their raises no matter what. First, as for public charter schools and education savings accounts, Rucker said both would give families more choices in education. Two. Another co-sponsor of the bill said there's good reason for combining teachers' raises with other reforms in the bill. They. SB 451 is now headed to the state's House of Delegates. So what if it becomes law? Will teachers go on that? Arizona would ban talk about any controversial issue not relevant to class. What teachers did educators walked out by the thousands last year, for the 2018-19 school year and annual raises after that until Arizona's teacher salaries reached the national average. Teachers wanted education funding to be restored to pre-recession 2008 levels and demanded no new tax cuts until per-student spending reached the national average. After six days of protests, Arizona teachers ended their walkout after the governor signed an education funding bill into law. The measure, dubbed the What's happening now lawmakers aren't considering just one house bill involving teachers they're considering several. Would prohibit certified public school teachers from engaging. State GOP Republic. Mark Fincham said they but since the bill would forbid talk of any. I. Says school district or charter school teachers may. Throughout. Would impose a fine of up to $5,000 for anyone who causes a school to close when students are supposed to be in class. Exceptions include, would allow any legislator to prompt the state's attorney general to investigate alleged wrongdoing by a school district or district employee. Such wrongdoing could include teachers' strikes, which are. Townsend wrote the bill after learning about him. Teachers. Teachers who did go to school found. My. While the bill's authors say these measures would improve education, the head of the Arizona Education Association said he thinks they're retaliatory. It's. He said last year's walkout was successful because it secured more resources for schools. But these bills don't, they. Oklahoma would permanently ban any teacher who walks out. What teachers did like West Virginia, teachers in Oklahoma ranked in the bottom three states for teachers' salaries. Some Oklahoma, but the fight wasn't just about raises. Oklahoma teacher, shortly before the walkout, government. Mary fallen up, so hundreds of
but lawmakers did, what's happening now Oklahoma would make it illegal for teachers to walk out and protest again. But HB 2214 doesn't stop there it would also permanently revoke certifications of teachers who break the rule, preventing them from teaching in the state again. The bill's author, state GOP Republic. Todd Russ, students. He said the new bill fixes a loophole in the existing law. It's already illegal, but last year's protest was a walkout not a strike. In Oklahoma, a strike happens when teachers protest against a school board while they're supposed to be in school. But for last year's walkout, many teachers told their administrators they'd be absent. That forced some sc and because many schools were closed, teachers could protest at the Capitol without punishment. Russ said the Oklahoma Education Association skirted the law and he wants to prevent that from happening again. Much. Thus. His new bill states it. But the president of the OEA said she thinks the bill is retaliation for last year's walkout. Alicia Priest said she said it was the threat of a walkout that spurred lawmakers to give schools more funding. Had teachers been forbidden to walk out, she said, we.